US, India, Japan, and Australia. These four democratic countries have been seeking a free, rules-based and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. For this specific purpose, the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, commonly referred to as Quad, was created. First mooted by Japan's then Prime Minister late Shinzo Abe in 2007, the idea of Quad was revived in 2017 on the sidelines of the ASEAN Summit. In March 2021, the first Quad Leaders Summit was held virtually between US President Joe Biden, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga, and India's Narendra Modi. Since then, the foreign ministers of Quad have met eight times and the leaders of the group another five times. Though not stated explicitly, the main purpose of the alliance was to counter China militarily and diplomatically in the Indo-Pacific region, particularly in the South China Sea. The scope of Quad has since expanded to other spheres, health, technology, connectivity, critical supply chains, humanitarian and disaster relief. But throughout this time, India's membership has been a point of contention for many in the Western nations, especially because of its close ties with Russia. The Western media has often portrayed India as the weakest link in the Quad Alliance. There are two reasons to this. One, India has never dubbed Quad as an anti-China alliance, even though West has often called out Beijing over its expansionism in South China Sea. The other reason is India's historical defense ties with Russia. During Cold War, India and Russia, which was USSR at the time, formed a strong strategic partnership. While West ignored it, Russia supplied critical weapons to India during this time. Military experts have argued that India's military tech, two-thirds of which are of Russian origin, are not interoperable with the equipment that other Quad members operate on. But this assessment conveniently ignores the fact that the fulcrum of Quad Alliance rests on India. India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, wrote in 1946 that the Pacific is likely to take the place of the Atlantic in the future as a nerve centre of the world. His words proved far-sighted, as the Indo-Pacific is now the world's most rapidly evolving economic region. Historically, India has served as the resident power in the Indian Ocean region and its littorals, as the country, according to an estimate, occupies 40% of strategic waters. India's geographic and geopolitical centrality in Indo-Pacific provides a counterbalance to China's growing presence in the Indian Ocean. Through its Act East and extended neighborhood policies, India has been actively engaging with its traditional allies in the ASEAN region like Vietnam, Philippines and Taiwan that are often engaged in disputes with China over its expanding territorial claims to sea. For decades, India focused its defence policy on land borders with rivals Pakistan and China. Now, as its global ambitions expand, it is beginning to flex its naval power in international waters, including anti-piracy patrols and a widely publicized deployment close to the Red Sea to help protect ships from attacks during Israel's war with Hamas. Western defense experts often flag how India has historically been reluctant to deepen defense cooperation. But the upcoming Malabar naval exercise in the Bay of Bengal shows things are changing. In October, India will host the 28th edition of the annual Malabar naval exercise. Each of the Quad nations will deploy some of their most advanced warships, submarines and naval aircraft signaling their joint commitment to maintaining maritime security. Originally a bilateral drill between India and the US, the maritime exercise will see Quad nations displaying their cutting-edge warships and naval assets this time.
marking a significant exhibition of maritime cooperation and power projection in the Indo-Pacific region. According to the latest Asia Power report from Australia's Lowy Institute, India has made significant strides, overtaking Japan to become Asia's third most powerful country. According to the rankings, US retains the top position and China is a close second. That is why, despite external criticism, US and other Quad partners insist India is the key pillar of this four-nation alliance.